Hey everybody, I know it's late, but I wanted to share this with you that I read in Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. Seek the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So we're living in a day where no doubt the Lord is angry with human beings. We are hateful to each other. Of course, there's wars and rumors of wars and wars in your own household. But that is a gold nugget. I mean, the word is so precious. Faith is so precious and that when you find these, you just have to share it. And I wanted to share that with us. Let's be found seeking righteousness and meekness in case the Lord, in his anger, that'll hide us from his wrath. I, I just... If, if this if this is offensive to you, turn this off, okay? Don't look at it. But it, it is meat for your soul. Be hungry every day for Jesus Christ. Seek the Lord every day. Read his word every day. Even if you just read one scripture, line your life up with the scripture if it's not in line, that plumb line, my pastor preached on a plumb line. He actually showed us what it was. And it makes sense when you can see things, right? So I want to be plumb lined up with the word because we're going to be judged by the scripture, all 66 books. And we want to line our lives up to God's word so that when we stand in front of him he can go through all of the checks and he will be found worthy we're not worthy by any works that we can do but if we repent of our sins we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior we believe that he is and we keep all of his sayings, right? Not just the Ten Commandments, but we, our faith has to work. Without faith, we can't please God. We have to be born again. That means our life has to change. Whatever we was doing before, we're not doing again. And we're relying on Jesus. We're relying, we're trusting in him, not on ourselves. We could do nothing of ourselves, even though we think we can do it, right? I'm strong. I'm young. I can go to work. You can't if, if the Lord doesn't wake you up. You can't if, if, if he allows Satan to strike you with something that keeps you from, from doing it. So it's not something you can do on yourself. You could, you could leave from work that morning and not make it back home that night or be in the hospital or be in a wheelchair or be shot where you're, you're, you don't have your physical ability. So we cannot say, I'm good or I've got this or I believe that there is a God, but I don't believe that he wrote the Bible. It doesn't matter what you believe. It matters what is. And I wouldn't say it if I didn't love you. You know it's true. So I'm saying it and I'm hoping that you're listening to me and not just blowing me off. Like, I don't mean anything. Like I'm just some kook. I'm not a kook. Okay. I was out there doing whatever I wanted to do. But I wasn't my own. I could have died at any moment. I was not right when I was doing it. And I... I I pray that the Lord forgive me 
of all of my sins. I pray the Lord forgives you of all your sin. I pray that the Lord drops that seed in your heart and lets you know that someone is reaching out for more than just this earth. We only have, even if we lived 150 years, it's not long enough, you guys. That's a short span. And in those latter years, you, you're, you're not as strong and healthy as you were in your 20s and 30s, teens. The older you get, things hurt because this body is every day trying to go back to the dust that it was. But your soul on the inside, it's live, it's vibrant. It, it, it wants to go back to where it came from, from heaven to live forever. So if you don't know me, I'm nobody. If you do know me, I'm still nobody. But I'm someone that loves you, who's trying to show you the way. So get in the scripture, read the scripture. If you don't understand it, ask for heavenly wisdom, not earthly wisdom, because earthly wisdom only gets you so far. It'll get you far in, in this life, but it don't get you far in the afterlife. What's after this? What's after your, you've got a birthday, you got the dash, and then you have your, the day that you die. What's after that, that body, that this body goes to, to the dust and this soul goes back to God. We want to, we want to make him proud of us. I sure want to make him proud of me. You know, so don't be offended because it's, this is coming from my whole heart it's coming from my whole heart not something that i thought of was cool to do one day okay i love you bye